Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we have five Warthogs here, and the point of the video is to take this guy right here, which is the newest hog, this is the Halo TV series hog, and see how it stacks up to a handful of the hogs Mega has made. Now, I want to say that this is actually kind of a small fraction of all of the ones that they've made. Like, this is literally probably a quarter of all the hogs they've made. It's just one of those things that they just keep making more of because, I mean, it's one of the most iconically Halo things out there, aside from the Pelican and, of course, Spartans or whatever. You look at this, and it's instantly you know it's from Halo, right? So what we want to do is kind of just see how the newest one stacks up and if it still has that Halo vibe as well. The first one I want to take a quick look at is the Arctic CTF hog. This is a Halo 3 hog. It's very classic. Looks really nice. I have reviewed this. I'll put the card up in the corner if you want to see all the details. But the design is really good. The suspension is a little weird, but it has a working winch, which I think is kind of awesome. And then the level of print all over this is super cool. The tires look great. And overall, it looks really good. Um, it has a pretty wide stance. You can see the tires stick out almost all the way from the side. And we have the turret with the kind of round, uh, rounded off shields. And we've got a little antenna as well as some tail lights. This chunky war machine is the dual mode Warthog. This one's kind of odd because you got options to make it be a slightly more normal Warthog. Um, and there was like a turret that you could put on it, which I honestly don't know where my version of the turret is right now because I pretty much instantly went for the rockets because why would you not want a, uh, a rocket hog like this? And this is not like normal rocket hog. This is a automated turret, I guess, or maybe it's controlled from in here. But yeah, you, you have these instead of anything else. Um, it's a pretty cool set overall. I have done a review on it if you want to see the entire thing. It's a little bit uh, flimsy in some cases, like the this likes to move around a lot. The missiles are a bit fiddly, but it's really cool and really unique. Kind of looks a little bit like the Forge Hog. It has no suspension to speak of, although it does have some nice building underneath. It has a working winch. It has a very low profile overall, and it's pretty darn good looking. I like the color scheme. I like all of the the markings that we've got on it, we've got the little Hornet that matches the Spartans, and we have a little antenna. Mine is missing some pieces. The back is incomplete because I got it from a seller who is, um, he, he did not know how to sell well and ended up leaving out parts a lot. So that is why that's missing. But even without that, it looks really cool. And we've got, of course, like the bar across the front which is great, and I really like this. Despite the fact that the bumper is kind of flimsy and the rockets are a little bit flimsy, I leave them on because I think it just looks really cool and really different. I think most of you guys will recognize this one, and probably most of you even have this one. This is the Halo Infinite Warthog Rally one, which despite being very inaccurate to Infinite, it is a very good set. We've got the bars. It looks more like the Halo 4 Warthog. Oops, stay in there, Chief. It has suspension, so it has a very high standing look. Almost a little too high, but I do love that suspension. That's really slick. We've got the antenna on the back, all of the fuel canisters, and of course, the ever-present turret. This one has a UNSC symbol on it, and it is done in that metallic green. No working winch, unfortunately. It's just that molded piece, and yeah, overall it looks pretty good. It's a very basic Warthog, but if you need one Warthog, this is a good one to get because it's also very accessible. As far as I know, it's still pretty darn cheap on the aftermarket just because it was so widely available everywhere. So it's a good one. It's a very solid choice. If you've got it in your collection, I would say you are doing pretty good. Also, that suspension is just fun. Next up is the Red Team Rescue Warthog. And this one is kind of interesting because this one only came out, what was it, about a year ago as of the time of the making of this video. And it has a kind of, uh, a design that kind of went backwards, so to speak. It is almost identical to this one, to our Arctic Hog. But you can see that the stance 
is much different. This is a much wider stance. This one is narrower and it sits up a little bit higher. And it's very interesting. I don't really know, um, I don't know which one I like better, but it is essentially the same design. And the Red Team Hog came with two different variants that you could build. You could build just an all green one if you just wanted a green Halo Wars Hog, or you could do the Flame Hog, which I went with that because I think that's really cool. It's a pretty nice set. I have heard some people say that they weren't a huge fan of the backwardness of the design, but since this is supposed to be a Halo Wars 1 set, the fact that it's a more outdated looking hog makes sense to me. We've got the turret on the back, which you do get the stuff to make a gauss turret as well if you want. I prefer just the general hog gun. And then also in terms of suspension, this was a downgrade. Whoops, we just lost our driver. The tubing, the little rubber tubes made an appearance again, which I am personally not a huge fan of because those do not age well, but that's really my only complaint with this. Got the antenna on there, and it just looks pretty good. Like, I, I feel like this is very classic looking, but no working winch. That to me is a bit of a bummer. This is not really a warthog, but I did want to give a quick look at this because I'd like to see this alongside the TV series hog. This is the Razorback. Not entirely accurate to its in-game counterpart, mostly up here in the front fenders, but it's really neat looking. It's nice to have a troop carrying vehicle. It's not necessarily um, battle ready. It's just load up your troops and go along. It's got the same sort of suspension. I mean, it's like a warthog and a spade smashed together, and I'm a fan of it. I like it. And of course, here we have the TV series hog, and this one, instantly stands out as very different to me. It's more bulky. We do have the bars on the front, but the front itself is built differently. It's much more flat. The winch is built differently than we've seen before. The backside makes me kind of think of the dual mode hog, which we'll bring in in a moment. And the turret has this square piece, which I believe was an older piece that just recently was brought back. See the fuel tanks around the back there too. And of course there is that weird cargo rack that you could put on if you wanted uh, that. The color, very interesting color, not one that we've seen before on a Warthog. I like it, especially with the gray Silver Team Spartans in it. I think that looks great, even though again, it's show Silver Team, I know controversial, but we're just taking a look at the hog for now. Um, the tires look really nice. I like the way that they've done that. Although I will say these tires, maybe it's just mine, but you can see maybe, maybe it's a little hard to see, but the back one, the tire itself is misshapen. So I'm not really sure how to feel about that. It's not horrible, but it's just like a weird thing. And then we have suspension, but is tiny bit of suspension. However, they did build out that area better. So it doesn't look as up high. Um, as some of the other ones. So I'm kind of okay with that. It is really easy to accidentally build this into the tall hog, which if you need help fixing that, I will put a little card for the live stream that I did. Watch the live stream, watch me build it, and you will see how to avoid it. Or you can just watch the review, either one. But yeah, it's a very interesting hog. So now what we're gonna do is get some of the other ones in here for comparison. So real quick, because we have the least amount of comparison here, I just wanted to bring in the Arctic Hog. Much, mm, I was gonna say much narrower, but it's really not. This one is more beefed out, I would say. We've got more going on. The sides are more filled out. Um, not that this one's bad, but this one definitely looks more refined. The stance is wide, but not quite as wide. The tires seem to fit with it really well. Yeah, okay. I Over the two, I personally prefer that design, but that's not to knock this one. This one is very good. Then this guy right here, these two, these two look odd next to each other, it, but it really does look like a old Warthog and a new Warthog. So like this is the old model that the Spirit of Fire had, and now this is a newer model that they would see, you know, they would see use in maybe Infinite, that the Infinity might have loaded on board. And also the differences in the greens, much prefer the newer green, which speaking of the metallic green and differences in green, there you go. I definitely prefer the 
new matte green um, overall. These ones I think are pretty comparable, although this one looks a little bit more bare bones overall. I definitely think that this one with the extra built detail and the extra prints um, comes out on top. And you can see what I was saying about the differences between, see how tall and kind of lanky that one is compared to this. They are, this just looks more filled out. Um, I will say though, it's a little odd the fact that this one's got the antenna, this one doesn't. Pretty much all of them have the antenna, but this one does not. That's just an odd choice for me. I, personally, I think that's a little weird. And then look, these two to me look very similar. This one is taller and more flat, but this one's like angled down. But in terms of the bulk, they look similar to me. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Again, antenna, this one doesn't have the antenna. But I feel like these are probably the most comparable in terms of just their sheer bulk. Um, as a whole though, the side building here strikes me as better because this one's just built up directly as, with bricks and this one's side kind of greebling. And I saw somebody, I don't remember who, so I'm sorry I'm not giving you credit, but I saw somebody make a post, I think it was on either Reddit or Facebook, about how this Warthog is actually built around an internal frame. So you could take off pretty much all the green and you would still have a base frame of a Warthog under there, which is pretty cool. Um, something too that I forgot to look at is we have the engine under the hood here, which is really cool detail. And that's not really present here at all. Instead, you have these like engine bits here. I don't know if that's just supposed to be exhaust or engine or what, but it's the same pieces as used here. So yeah, I don't really know uh, what the, the choices there were. I don't know why they didn't do the engine in the hood, but I do like that engine in the hood. And then here is the Razorback. Those two look pretty nice side by side, although, mm, well, maybe not. I was gonna say the Razorback looks a little bit more juvenile in terms of its building, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking maybe not. I think they, I think they work together. Like putting them in a convoy doesn't look weird, even though this is a little bit more lanky and um, awkward here. I think pairing those together doesn't look really wrong. Well, there you have it. That is all of the hogs compared to that guy right there. And I gotta say, this one is possibly my favorite warthog design so far. Yes, I know it's from the show. Although I gotta say, from in the show, the, the show one looked more like uh, this. That's what it looked like in the show. I don't know if that was because the windshield got shattered or whatever, but the clips that I've seen, which, I haven't watched the show all the way through. I've watched um, many parts of it, and the Warthogs looked like this. So slapping this on may not be accurate to the show, but it sure is accurate to Halo. And I say that is a fantastic hog. I love the way it stacks up to the rest of these. I love how bulky it is. I like the color. All the printing on it is great. Like I said, compares very close to the dual mode hog and to the Warthog Rally um, hog. These two over here really aren't much alike other than the fact that it's the Warthog, but these ones are supposed to be older designs. And also this looks nice next to the new hog too. So that's kind of the baseline for that. That hog definitely feels like Halo, even if it came from one of the most un-Halo-like things ever. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.